Okay, welcome to Bond Ministries again. Uh, I'm helping someone to start off the bin. And she's going to use a worm bin for wormy compost or you call that uh, worm farming. And uh, so I've asked her to uh, find a pot, a flower pot, big enough to put in um, some worms and papers and uh, bedding. And uh, she has a bucket, paint bucket, clean paint bucket. So I told her to uh, get holes done on the top part or uh, on the lid and that purpose is she asked me why not the bottom uh, we don't want the, the bottom because um, we don't want the worms to be crawling out from the bottom so we want to punch the hole so that they can breathe air can go in so one thing I taught her to do is to use sharp metal or screw, like screwdriver, heat it up and then uh, press it against the lid. And then the lid is softer, the material is softer than the uh, bucket. So it's easier to work on the lid. Just a few inches apart all around and uh, also, uh, yeah all over the top of the lid. Punch uh, as not too big but enough for air to go in and breathe for the worm to breathe. Okay. Um, then the second thing you do is prepare uh, the bedding and these are the bedding. Okay. You can use a uh, leaves dried leaves from your garden but um, on top of that if you don't have leaves you can use cardboard anything brown okay so these are the brown stuff that i have here uh, cardboard now this cardboard are plain and it is better to use plain cardboard rather than printed ones huh? we don't know whether the printed ones the colors are poisonous or not so but for newspaper uh, the print i think is safe okay prints on the newspaper is safe so you tear out the newspaper into smaller bits and then the, the cardboard you cut it into uh, small cubes small sizes and you can also use paper recycled paper okay I just tear out my papers I use it for making notes and then after that I tear it and I can use it then toilet paper the toilet paper the rolls you use the center part just pull when you're finished using the toilet paper you just uh, pull it apart now that one way I do it is, uh, you see, one side is inside and one side is outside. Here, this is on the outside. Okay, so I will start tearing and go around until I come out to this side. And this side is on the inside. You see, the sharp part here is below this part. So it's harder to tear from here. It's easier to tear from here and then after tearing open I would uh, cut across okay just just cut across and uh, then I have strips of this okay now this will this is good because it will help it is soft so it will help the uh, the worms to eat and it also provide ventilation because they are curled up and so uh, 
there is air space in between when they are hooked up together like that or curl up together like that okay and then the other thing is to have uh, to use these egg cricks okay uh, this I cut I tear it into small bits okay if they are big then they form a big ball which uh, hard to disintegrate decompose so I just uh, tear it pull it apart and tear it bit by bit uh, it will be easier when I do hot compost I will soak it in water and just uh, simply tear big and then mix with the other things okay now apart from this brown things oh yes the other thing I use is uh, grocery bags I cut it into strips and then the, later I just tear it into uh, small cubes a uh, small square pieces okay the smaller the bits the easier it is to decompose the other thing I use is cocoa pit this is uh, taken from this is the like a from the husk I think the husk of the coconut okay cocoa pit and uh, it comes in a block and so what you do is you cut the amount you want and then soak it in the water and then together with all these these things you make a bedding to start a wormy compost if you cannot find this uh, cocoa peat in the nursery you can have an, a substitute called uh, peat moss okay peat moss is taken from the swamp I think from some uh, plant in the water so that also uh, will help in the decomposing and also the feeding for the worms okay as a bathing or and feeding for the worms the worms to eat papers and all right disintegrated uh, uh, decomposed papers and so on okay all these things so this is just for a start now when you want to start make sure you mix the things together first okay mix all this before you add water then your newspaper won't clump up like a ball okay so you mix properly all these things this one this one and uh, this okay and this and the cardboard and uh, you mix all together then you add water how much water you after you add water you squeeze if uh, hardly it's just a drop or two comes up from your hand in between your finger uh, that is best okay if you press and it runs then you have to add more papers to absorb the water we don't want the 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 worms will get drowned okay if it is flooded there's too much water so they will be just comfortable with just enough water they they the skin breathe okay <clears throat> they they breathe through their skin and so they need water um, but not so much as to drown them okay so you just have to be just wet enough so mix all those things together okay all this as a bedding for them to uh, stay or start off there uh, to start off your worm farming of course you will need also some earth or soil and normally you can put uh, in your garden soil the black soil or uh, composing soil uh, or potting soil okay you can put from if you have hot compost you can add in some hot compost and um, normally what i do is 
after I have harvested, I after picking up the worms and putting into one container together with all those uh, that have not been decomposed, all this uh, bedding, there are still big pieces, I put it in together with this new bedding. Okay, and so that will provide the micro uh, microbes to act and cause the the breakdown of these materials that will help actually the worm eat the microbes okay that has been uh, produced in the decomposition so so uh, what you do is you just if you don't have previous uh, leftover from the the worm compost you can always take the soil from the garden, black soil, or the potting soil that you have bought. And uh, just add uh, a little bit, say a bowl or two, and that will help to start off the decomposition of these uh, bathing materials. Okay, so all the best. And if you don't have worms, uh, you can always ask friends who have worm farming because they will have access. Or you can always uh, buy online. I have one pot of local worms which I trap from the garden. Okay, what I do is I put a pot, dig a hole, a flower pot, and dig a hole and put the food in and just like this bedding the same thing I would do for the uh, worm farming so I put into the garden uh, into the pot all these things together with food and then after a day or two I will dig up the pot and look for worms and I will transfer the worm into my uh, bin where I want to do the worm farming. And so eventually I got more than 30 worms from my garden. And so I started one pot. Later I have uh, decided to buy the red wriggler that is uh, normally used for worm farming. So I bought online. Uh, in Malaysia it's uh, here I bought $50.00 for a hundred, actually it's forty nine dollars. Um, yeah, I round it up fifty dollars for hundred worms, so it's about fifty cents per worm. Okay, so all the best, and uh, try it out, and you'll find that uh, you are eco friendly because you are going to use up things that could be piling up in the. Uh, trash field okay rubbish field uh, or uh, more trash from the garden or trash from your kitchen you are trying to cut down waste and work for people who are doing the throwing away trash or picking up trash for you all right so um, all the best